don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel yo. So yo, before we even get into this video, I'm honestly going through some shit right now. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but I will try and do my best to bring y'all the same energy that I always bring. Normally in these videos, I don't talk about shit that's going on in my personal life. And I'm probably keep it like that until I start vlogging, which is probably gonna come real, real soon, sooner than y'all think. But yo, today we are gonna be discussing Supreme Week 18 or some shit like that. I don't even know where we at right now. I know that this week is Summer Tease Week. We got a lot of pieces dropping, a lot of heat, and I do wanna cover it for you guys. So if you guys doing up enjoying this video go ahead and leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content also click the post notification bells if you want to be notified every single time i post a video and possibly get shouted out right here y'all already know how we do it with the post notification gang shout out to y'all for always showing love i'm telling y'all bro flourish my people y'all about to get y'all a little show time right here but yo let's go ahead and get straight into this video so i'm not even gonna lie yo this week is probably one of the better weeks from this whole entire season we got some bangers coming out this week the accessory that i've been waiting for the whole season cafeteria that shit is banging bro i'ma need that shit but i already know how this shit goes online so i'm not even tripping i already took my l but hopefully we get this w you already know how this shit go we're gonna start at the bottom of the list with the dookiest pieces in this case i don't even know if nah this shit is ass we got the shears t all the way at the bottom this shit right here big boy i don't know what they trying to do with this one they need the shit this deserves to be at the bottom i don't know what's going on with this who wants shears on a shirt that they gonna wear hey i would honestly understand if this shit sat in every single size like i don't want this shit bro it has a little supreme logo on it that's literally it we about to leave that shit right there for whoever needs it if you like this piece you already know go ahead and go for whatever you like but personally that shit right there could stay right there bro next up we got this wake of the world tea this is the unseen tea that's gonna be dropping i don't know what this shit looks like it's literally a question mark on it right now for me just like y'all but after that we got the it gets better every time tea low key shit i'm i feel that like it does get better every time and this tea is fire like this shit is hard i like the blue colorway that they got on it this blue right here is so clean i like the tone of it it's kind of like that blue right here that icy blue yo if y'all want to see a bag collection y'all always see my bags in the background i could go ahead and talk about them a little bit more in detail if y'all want to see that video go ahead and smash the like button if this video gets like 200 to 250 likes we about to go ahead and see what's good with that but yo i still have to choose the winner for that sticker pack giveaway i probably will do that in tomorrow's video or the live cop actually so stay tuned for that and this tea right here is low-key a vibe i'm gonna probably try and go for it just to hold it off and see what happens because some of these pieces do end up going way up as time goes on like the liquid tea from like last season that shit is doing pretty good right now you feel me and it's just a brick when they first dropped it was a brick so i'm gonna just go ahead and keep doing what i've been doing because the shit is working next up we got probably one of my favorite teas out of all the summer teas and it is this green greetings tea right here what i like about it so much is the fact that it does have the twin towers on it it honestly brings me back to the times when i used to live in new york i remember being in kindergarten when the twin towers actually fell shit was tactical bro like the whole city was bizarre that day and right here bro this shit is hard greetings from supreme is just basically like a postcard on the front this one is a vibe to me this is probably one of my favorite ones because i could attach myself to it personally and that's kind of what i like about some of these pieces since i was from new york these pieces kind of mean something to me sometimes i don't know maybe i'm weird for that but that's just the way it is so this piece right here i'm gonna definitely try to go for for the personal nothing less shit is a banger to me hey let me know what y'all think about that piece right there but next up we do got the clouds t this is kind of like that tattoo that everybody gets when they get the first tattoo the clouds around the chest type shit you got the clouds t right here this is actually not that bad what i actually want to know is if the color of the print changes depending on the color of the shirt because if there are some different colorways with a different print on it or different color print i feel like they would possibly look a little bit better but maybe i'm just nitpicking let me know what y'all think about that cloud tea right there so far i do like the it gets better tea and i do like the greetings one the cloud one is a hit or miss for me i don't know how i feel about it honestly but we do got this dookie hole pinhole short sleeve shirt right here this shit is i don't know bro this is the go to the beach shirt i'm trying to tell y'all this shit is what this shit ass bro let's keep it realistic like this shit is ass to me because i don't wear this type of shirt but if you enjoy like the button ups and shit going on like that this is your vibe i just feel like the print or the logo on it should have not been tonal so you could at least like see what's going on you feel me the colors are all right shit that lime green is tripping balls it's throwing me off a little bit right here but we're about to go ahead and go into this knit stripe
striped tank top shit. You look like you on acid if you take this first one right here, shit. That's that go to fucking Woodstock and just eat a box of shrooms type shit. I'm good on that one right there. We got this Folard Polo, which was supposed to drop a minute ago, and they held off to this week because they knew that there was going to be more bangers that they could disguise the bullshit in, and I'm gooch, bruh. I'm all the way gooch. We got this unseen Mophie charger. Honestly, bruh, this actually seems like a vibe because it's not a case. Like, you could actually use this for any phone, which is way better. I feel like this one probably will have resale simply for that fact because it's not for a specific phone. So you can actually go ahead and use this on your Android if you still got green text bubbles or for any iPhone, you feel me? Like not the 10 or the fucking 10 plus or I don't know. Like I don't even know where the iPhones are at anymore. But next up, we do got this Shears skateboard. I'm still like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand what is so special about these fucking shears. They should have just dropped the actual shears at this point. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, you can see design quality. And these shears, bruh, I don't see it. Like, I don't see it. Like, right here, I can see why I paid $50 for this. Paying $50 for some shears on a deck? Huh, you smoking dick, bro. Straight up smoking tip. I'm good on that right there. We got this floral rayon shirt, which honestly, in the past, I would have shat on this three times. But right now, it's looking kind of like a vibe, bro. Like, summertime vibes with the pink one on, the little pink blue one. Shit, it's kind of a vibe. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Hey, if I'm tripping on that one, let me know down below in the comments. But I feel like that one, if you go into like a beach or a resort, you throw that on with like some water shorts. Come on, bro. Free balling in some water shorts with that on? You gooch. Like, there's nothing to it. It's literally nothing to it. Like, shit gonna be real breezy. I'm trying to tell you. But next up, we got this waffle tee right here. This is more so for people who like the subtle branding because it does say Supreme, but it's at the bottom. I kind of do like it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That mustard colorway is actually pretty hard. I kind of do like that pink as well. If it was like a light tone, like a pastel pink, that shit would have been hard as but I don't know if I'm gonna end up going for that at all. $78 for that versus two actual tees. I don't know. For me, I don't know. I don't think that's for me. Next up, we got one of my favorite tees. This one is definitely coming home with me for the personal. Is this dynamite tee right here? This shit is a banger, bro. I don't know about y'all, but this one is probably damn near next to that greetings card. My favorite. I feel like they're bringing it back to the retro supreme designs because these designs look like some shit that would have came out in the past, but they come in with the heat right now. So we got like these little toy blocks that the kids used to play with and shit like that. Spelling out Supreme. Then you got the dynamite lighting some fire. That shit is so hard to me, bro. And I feel like this navy color right here does it justice. I'm gonna probably go for the black one simply because I just feel like everything pops better on it. But we gonna leave that shit right there for now. Come Thursday, that bitch is coming with me. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care what color. That design is so hard. Just like the greenings one, those two tees have to go for the personal. Like, I don't care, bro. They're gonna be worn. They're gonna be worn. And yo, after I get these tees, like the last tees from Supreme. I'm gonna do a Supreme t-shirt collection as well. I'm about to come with this shit for y'all. I'm telling you, bro. Next up, we got this contrast stitch crusher. Duke a loop. We about to leave that shit right there. Ain't even gonna waste my breath on that bitch. Next up, we got these nylon water shorts. I feel like compared to last week's water shorts, these are a little bit subpar. Hear me out. Besides the cherry ones, both the cherry colorways are bangers, but the water shorts from last week, in my opinion, are better. Hey, maybe I'm just biased because I actually managed to get them, but these cherry ones are fire nonetheless. The black colorway is hard. The brown ones are hard too because the red kind of blends with it a little bit, so it kind of is more subtle but the black ones fire bro we got these jaguar logo shorts normally these don't do too well because they are like a terry material but they do have supreme going all across it so i wouldn't know what to tell you about these it's kind of like a towel bro it's like you come out the pool all soaky you throw these shits on and your nuts are automatically dry like come on that's benefits bro shit that's beneficial to the situation i'm just saying but next up we got this bella lugosi tee right here i feel like this one is pretty cool it's just not my stilo i kind of do like the design on the tee more than the towel or the other pieces that they came out with because it is a smaller little square and it just looks more proportionate when it comes to this tee right here i'm honestly interested to see what other colorways they're gonna come out with i do like this reaper tee right here though this shit is hard bro this is another one of those pieces that if i get it i don't know if i'll be able to sell it like if i decide to go for this reaper tee right here i might fuck around and even get it in this mustard colorway i just like the way that the actual like print goes on it because it doesn't have too much yellow in the actual painting but it has a lot of other colors so when you throw it on that mustard color it just 
pops and it doesn't do too much i like that mustard and i'm honestly trying to see what other colors they got i'm trying to tell you this one is a banger though i feel like some of these teas will have resell a lot of them actually will like the dynamite the greetings one this reaper tea the bella lugosi maybe in like the black colorways but mind you i'm speaking long term like the cat in the hat at first it was a brick kind of it was like 80 90 dollars and i'm pretty sure the shit like around 150 right now and that's the shit that happens with most of these teas just hold them and down the line these shits will be worth way more money trust me bro but we got four more pieces to cover then we about to get out this bitch so we about to talk about this motherfucker towel right here this one is a vibe bro i like the fact that the supreme is right down the middle straight to the point motherfucker towel like i'm trying to tell you this shit is hard 68 dollars retail not too bad at all i kind of do like the colors on it that orange with the blue and the white could never go wrong and this piece is pretty hard if you're looking for a towel for the beach or to display or something like that this is actually a pretty good look because there's really big branding on it you could be a hype beast everywhere you go but next up we got the buju banton buju banton tea right here the photo tea joint this shit is i right. it's kind of growing on me i'm not gonna lie to you if i do get it it's probably gonna be held for like a year or two. Oh shit we got the signatures on the back it does say supreme on the back as well and it does have his signature i kind of did a little bit of research why the fuck you lying obviously he's rastafari he used to make music with bob marley and those type of people he was pretty big in the music industry and i think he even beat bob marley's record one time i'm gonna probably put something up right here i forgot hell no exactly what it was and i'm not trying to mess anything up but this tea is actually growing on me you feel me shit is hard bro he looks like he's cooking in the picture like i'm gonna try to go for this shit mando like it's mandatory that i gotta try at least you feel me so i'm gonna try and get that and if i don't succeed hey we already know that shit was probably gonna happen so it's all good next up we got this grand prix camp cap i'm actually digging this shit like out of all the hats that came out this season this is the one for me like if i go for any hat it would be this shit right here because it's so fire i like the fact that it had the design going all around it you got that big red box logo on the front which does it justice because the design on the actual hat has little tones of red here and there so it just pops perfectly on it this shit is a vibe i'm not even gonna lie but no slight bars hey Yo, we about to get into this last piece right here. The Mocha Express joint. This is literally the accessory I've been waiting for the whole season. Shit, bro. I need this shit. And this sucks because the Buju Banton. Buju Banton. I don't want to. Yo, I feel like I butchered his name OD. But that photo tee is going to come out. So hopefully people deter from the coffee maker. But at the same time, I want. I don't know which one I want, bro. This shit is hard, bro. I kind of want the coffee maker more. But if I cop the photo tee, I could sell that shit and just buy the coffee maker. I'm about to just see what is going on. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Low key, this coffee maker is so hard. I don't understand. Like, Dominicans use this shit every day. This shit gets used. Like, it's gonna smell like a febustelo in this shit, but it's gonna mess up. Like, if you use this, the little handle ends up breaking so easily. So, I don't know if I'm even trying to use it. Like, it's tough, bro. These are the things you gotta think about when you buy all these accessories. But that pretty much does it for everything we had this week. This is a long ass list and a long ass video, low key. But if y'all enjoyed this, shit go ahead and leave a like down below remember 250 likes to 300 and we gonna do that hat collection this week i got a couple videos already recorded one of them is sponsored by talent list where we will have a 250 dollars credit giveaway for you guys stay tuned for that because it's gonna be coming soon probably like tomorrow or after tomorrow i'm just trying to put some finishing touches on it before i release it just so that everything is perfect but i think i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one bro peace stay up and i'm out yo just remember anything you're going through somebody could be going through some shit that's worse so appreciate every little thing that you have in your life that's something that i've been trying to work on myself hey i'm just a young young philosopher out here